Ladies and gentlemen, pimps, hoes, niggas, cool kids, lames, nerds, spazzes, geeks, athletes, freaks, even little sheeps. I present to you Toast, Thoughts of a Stoner Tube. Okay, okay. Hey, welcome to Toast, Thoughts of a Stoner Tube. Can't we all just get along, right? The younger niggas and the old niggas, right? The younger niggas are going to become old niggas one day, right? And the older niggas were once young niggas, so, I mean, we should all try to, you know, coexist, try to find some middle ground, I think, but, you know, niggas ain't having it. Now, anyway, Manny Fresh did an interview where he kind of spoke on that just a little bit. Now, he did an interview with Double XL, okay? Now, they caught Manny during his reunion with Birdman. If you don't know, they've been reunited as the big timers recently, and they've also been talking about a hot boy reunion. It seems like every time the hot boys are trying to come back together, Something's always going on. Like the last time, BG was out, but Turk was locked up. Everyone was out, but Turk was locked up. Now that Turk's out, BG's locked up. It's fucked up, but more on that in a minute. All right, so just bear with me. Now, they sat down with Manny, and they asked him, how did it feel to reunite with Birdman on stage and tell me about your current relationship with him? Manny says, we was always cool, you know, we had our disagreements on shit, but real talk, like New Orleans cats like this. When something happens, we come together. Like if a real life event were to happen, they've always been there, just like I've always been there. We've had our differences or whatever, but we've remained family through all of that. So it wasn't weird for me to reunite with Birdman. It just feels like it's right because people feel like, oh, this is monumental to a lot of people because they missed out on that era of music. So it's beautiful because I'm still getting it. Then Double XL asks, now that you reunited with Birdman as the big timers, will we ever see the Hot Boys reunite? He says, hell yeah. Bro, without BG and without Turk, it ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, BG is in jail, but what I'm hearing is that he's coming home soon. And if you follow me, you know I always rep him because that's my dude. I think we will reunite because the world misses that era of what the hell we did. I guess it was the fingerprint for a lot of people on what's really going on now. So I'm looking forward to reuniting with my guys. Now this is the question that's going to stir up a lot of controversy. I see it coming now, alright? They say in hip hop nowadays, there's a big disconnect between the younger artists and the older artists. Do you feel like the younger artists are not paying homage to the elders of hip hop? He says, the first thing is this, young artists, that's all we want them to do is pay homage of where you got it from. And I promise you them dudes will embrace you. Like, don't have the fuck you attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you embrace where it came from, they will embrace y'all. I love what's going on right now because you have to accept it. Like, I had my wild times and now it's someone else's time. Hip hop is this. You just want to know that y'all know where it came from. Just do your homework, and I promise you, you will get the respect you want from elder artists. Like, that's all they want. They just want to know where you got that hook or the beat pattern from. And trust me, they'll give you the respect. That's the end of the interview, okay? Now, have you ever, you know, made a general statement, or, like, but you had a picture in your head of a specific thing that you like were really thinking about at the same time? I feel like this nigga was thinking about a pack of Twizzlers. And some fucking beads. Because this nigga is definitely talking to Lil Yachty. Why? Because Lil Yachty's the only rapper, the only new rapper that's really out here like with a fuck you attitude towards things. And I just feel like it rubs a lot of people the wrong way. I feel like Lil Yachty is a likable guy. He's a likable character or a likable person. But he rubs people the wrong way with how he approaches sensitive topics such as legends in hip hop. Okay. I feel like um, in time, I feel like Lil Yachty will get it together. And I feel like Lil Yachty will, you know, get in his comfort zone and things will be okay one day. But for right now, I mean, because who else could they be talking to? He's not talking to Lil Uzi Vert. Because even when Uzi is, you know, uh, chastised by legends or elders of hip hop, He's always respectful, okay? Lil Yachty, on the other hand, is like, fuck it. Yachty don't give a damn. And I, I mean, at the same time, you got to respect him for that. But then I know that also ticks off a lot of people. So, you just, man, you just can't please anyone, bro. You can't please everybody in this world. 
And that's just all what it boils down to. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit. You think he's talking to Yachty? You think I'm just reaching and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? You think that I'm just, you know, stirring shit up, stirring up the pot? What do you think? Also, let me know, do you think that BG is really coming home soon? Niggas really do want to see the Hot Boys reunite, like, with all of them, with Juvie, Wayne, Turk, and BG? Aw, oh, man, it, bruh, that should be lit. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm about to get up out of here. If you like the content that I post, do me a favor. Like my video, please, man. It really helps the channel grow. Also, do me a favor. Press subscribe and that bell beside so you get notified when I upload next time and I'm gone.